hi guys welcome back again in this video we are going to do a program to take user input and we will see how to work on the user input in microprocessor programming so let's get started so here is the program input.asm so let's start with defining the model and then we are going to need the data segment then we are going to need the court and I need to set up the data segment and then we are just going to end the program and then exit so yeah just start with this basic stuff so uh, this is the boilerplate for every microprocessor program so in the beginning do this and let's define a message to get the user and it is going to be a byte so hi and uh, number and let's terminate the string now first of all let's print the string so 09h is the code for outputting a string to console we are going to need the string in dx register so let's load dx with the offset of message and let's see if it works so first of all let's compile the program that means let's assemble it so the program is input.asm and it gives no error it gives no warnings so we are good to go and then we are going to just link it the link in port.obj and then we are going to run it so let's do this and you see like uh, we get this weird message and let's see why did we get it i don't see a reason why did we get it okay so i'm not sure why we get it because we terminate the string correctly and we loaded the register correctly we executed the correct dos box and yeah we can see if like terminating the program correctly can help us so i just terminate the program correctly let's see if it's going to you can use the up, up and down key to move in between the commands and let's see if it works now yeah it does so as i told you guys previously it is always good to go with the generic pattern and always terminate the program using 4ch the dos box code to return to the docs terminal yeah it can give you weird messages so always be on the safe side so it was a program to just print a string so now let's take an input so move h with 0 1 h which is the code for taking you can just like omit this h and use one directly but i always prefer to use the h and let's just execute it and 21 h the input that we are going to take will be available to us in al register so let's like print whatever is in a register so let's move dx with uh, dl oh basically we don't have to even move to dl because like dl is the register that is like printed to screen whenever uh, we want to output something to the screen so let's just use the code 02h and print whatever is in dl but yeah I get it why we do need to move to DL because the input will be in AL. So let's run it again and and if I give number two, I just get two. So yeah, it gets complicated. So let's make another message, message one and let's make it the number number is this and we are going to do an output i am just doing some like code shifting 
uh, please don't do it yeah it can be harmful as well like it can give you weird bugs i prefer it because like yeah, i am going to do some simple stuff and yeah we are going to print this message and then we are going to print the number so let's compile it again and if i enter 2 the number is downward arrow and now this is something weird because we move to dl first and then we are going to print the message with which indeed overrides the dl register so that's why we get this error so let's do this now and now if we run this program we will get the correct output yeah hopefully we did but you see like we don't get a next line in this so there's a simple procedure we can get the next line with so if i run this now we should get the output on next line so let's do with five yeah we get the output on next line so 10 and 13 are the character for next line so yeah so 10 and 13 like we go to the next line and we start from the first character so that's why we use 13 and 10 and 13 as the code and yeah this is a simple program to take a user input and we can do like a lot more than that using microprocessor but let's restrict the scope of this video to this uh, particular topic yeah so it was fun doing it but there's a catch guys so whatever we take as input is like uh, processed as an SK character so if I input 1 it will be 49 because in SKI table like 48 is 0 so if I see SKI table yeah we get it now very fast now so if I zoom in here and like move decimal 48 which is like character 0 in SK table and like so on and so forth and A B C D the like alphabet starts from 65 and small one starts from 97 so this is something you need to take care of so like let's minimize this and let's go back to the program now so if you want to see like what we get in the input so I will be making another program in like the next video because like it will be a lot more to digest in this particular video so let's make another video and we will like do the conversion of like binary to sky and sky to binary and it will be a simple video guys so like you don't have to worry too much about it basically so that is for it guys like this video is like complete for now and video just hit the like button and share it with your friends you can also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it already and best of luck guys bye see you in the next video